Now, how do you download Excel in your iPad? Let's get started. So a few options which you are when you use your iPad and you want to edit the spreadsheets. So there is the official Microsoft Excel app, which you can get on the App Store. You know, you can get it for free. There is no like price tag or anything. But once you do download it and open it up for the first time, you're going to find out that the subscription is required to use the app fully. So you'll be able to use the app even without it, but in a very limited fashion. You'll be able to perhaps view some documents, but you cannot perform any changes and you will most definitely not be able to save and export those changes. So you need to set up the subscription, but when you do, it's pretty simple to start using it, right? So you can just get inside of that app and either start a brand new one or just access some of the other supported files for the spreadsheets, right? So you can just start working on it this way. Another possibility is that you don't necessarily download the Microsoft Excel, but you download an alternative. So the Apple, like they as developer came up with a spreadsheet software called Numbers, which is already part of most iPads by default. But if not, you can download it from the App Store completely free, no strings attached, and you can just start using it to edit and create a spreadsheet from scratch. So it's very simple. And you can also just start editing the existing spreadsheets, which you have on your iPad already. And of course, another alternative is the Apple's app, which you can also just, uh, I mean, sorry, the Google's one, which you can get as well, which is called the Google Sheets. And you can, of course, install that one from the App Store as well for free without necessarily a subscription and you can add and start using the spreadsheet files, edit them there, it all works uh, really well. So that's how you can use it. Let me know below in the comments which option you decided to go with, which type of spreadsheet software you are a big fan of. And if you don't really know, then stay tuned by subscribing to this channel because I, you know, this is the topic for my videos in the recent days and I've been making videos a lot about like tutorials and this kind of stuff. So make sure you stay tuned and never miss anything important and useful in the future. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later.